Pay attention, y'all. I don't know what to pray for myself or pray for on my own. So the spirit is making intercession on my behalf. Um, Isaiah 28, 10, 12. He says, Isaiah 28, 10 through 12. Y'all pay attention, y'all, please. If you don't learn nothing else, please pay attention to this. Listen to what he thinks is justification for speaking in these tongues. He has no idea what Isaiah 28 is speaking of. With stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people. Uh, Acts 1, 8 says you shall receive. Okay, first of all, that's not what it says. I'm going to go to Isaiah 28, 11. They totally messed this up. And I know I always say what it means, but I want to prove what it means. So when you're reading it, not not one of the the translations that I have seen got this correct. So I wanted to go to the interlinear and just show you. Because they make this look like this is God. This is not God. This is another is going to speak to these people. And, and these are the people that are refusing the truth. Okay. For, and this right here is um, blas blasphemous. I'm going to just show y'all. I don't want y'all to believe me. So I just copy and paste. Okay. I, I say blasphemous because that makes more sense. But blasphemy, whatever. For blasphemy lips and tongue, I I don't know if I should go to all these, but I, I'll go to some of them. So I don't think I even looked that one up. And in the language, okay. See this? This is another. This is so crucial, and they left this out. This is the same another that it talks about in, in John 10. Five, the same another it talks about in, I think is John 39 through 44, the another that people are going to accept the same. Um, it's also the enemy that sows among, among the wheat and Matthew 13, 25. That's the another this is talking about. So for blasphemy lips and whatever language, another and then it says he will speak. No, it's trying to put he here to make it think this is Yahshua, Yava, because it just got through talking about Yava. But that's a lie. It doesn't even say he. They added this. This is why you're not supposed to add to or take away from. This is why Yahshua warned us of the scribes. But I'm just going to prove to y'all it doesn't have he nowhere in it. Will speak, not he will speak. Another will speak to the people this and who is these people these are the blind people that the ones that refuse the word of god okay the word of god is 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 um the rock um yashua the for sure foundation and so he warned of of the pharisees he warned of the leaven teaching he said another was coming after him so these are the ones that they're not hearing him they're not believing his word they're not obeying his word so then this another that for blasphemy lips in another language or whatever another will speak to the people this i think that's so important you know marcus tried to use this verse to say this is why it's we're supposed to speak in tongues but this is literally talking about blasphemy tongues okay this is not a good thing or blasphemy lips whatever language i don't know Okay, I'm not all knowing, but I do know this is speaking of Shaol. And um, it I actually, <laughs> it's funny because Saul actually puts himself in this seat right here and, and proves that this is him. Okay, they have literally corrupted Isaiah 28. It was just like it exposed Paul too much. They corrupted it, but there's still so much evidence. Even with their corruption, people see the truth. Okay, so literally this is talking to Ephraim. I don't know how to say it, but these are literally drunkards. These are people with pride. These are people that's losing their beauty. These are people that's that's overtaken by this wine, the, the one that, that Yahweh is pouring out on the people that refuse the word of the Lord. They're refusing to hear. I think it has to do with their pride. I really don't understand all of it. But remember, 
Yasha said that these people were blind and deaf for a reason. Okay, these are prideful, arrogant people, and he's blinded them for a reason. And it's probably because, like it says in Isaiah 29, because they're refusing to obey God. So he's he's blinded them. They 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 go by the commandments of men and and they don't understand the Bible. They don't understand the word of God. These are the majority of the people, y'all. And I'm just gonna try to read it here, but no, even these these words above have been, I su suggest somebody take their time and go through every one of these and look them all up themselves, okay? And if you have an older version, even better. I don't think this is in the Codex. I would have did it in that, the Codex Sinatica. Uh, there's many Codex. But anyways, I'm going to try to break this down, but just know like it's so corrupted. I don't really have, I don't want to make this hours long, but I can give you a gist of what it's saying woe to the crown of pride to the drunkards remember he's calling them drunk of ephraim a flower fading glorious whose beauty at which the head of the valley verdant i don't even know what that means to those who are overcome with wine these are the ones that's overcome with that wine this is that blinding wine he speaks of that's blinding people, okay? It's a curse not to obey God. He blinds those, you know, Paul tried to say that God's not the author of confusion. You stupid, you stupid. Well, you don't listen to God. Yes, he's the author of everything. Are you crazy? Yes, he blinds your mind. Yes, he confuses you. When you don't stick to his covenant, co covenant his laws and obey him, you become idiots, okay? don't go by the words of man go by the words of god so anyway he's he's calling these people drunk and they're blind with this wine okay behold as mighty as a strong one the lord like a tempest of hell and storm destroying like a flood of waters mighty overflowing who will bring down to earth with hand underfoot will be trampled the crown of pride the drunkums of ephraim he is gonna literally trample these prideful ephraim drunkards that means they're blind down okay pay attention to who these people are in this a flower fading glorious the beauty which at the head of the valley verdant i don't need to know what that means but i don't have time like its first fruit before the summer which an observer sees they love something out while it is still in his hand he eats it up this is not good y'all in day that will be yava of host for a crown of glory in a day i don't know what that word is y'all something of beauty the raiment of his people this is not very many y'all this is like the rest the few the raiment is not going to be a lot of people pay attention for a spirit of justice in whom he sits in judgment and for strength to those who pay attention to those who turn back the battle at the gate hmm Okay, so the gate I know is uh, Yeshua's the gate. These are people that are turning away from the gate. The gate is the word of God, y'all. The gate is Yeshua. He was the straight gate. Yeshua means straight, the straight gate. Also, but also these through wine. Now remember, God's going to tell you what this wine is. Have air. This is not a good thing. And through intoxicating drink are out of the way. These people are dodo birds, y'all. And guess who they are? The priest and the prophet have erred through intoxicating drink. They are swallowed up by wine. Okay, remember that whore that it talks about in Revelations, the, the mother of harlots and that cup of adultery, and she's causing everyone to drink of her abominations. Y'all, please pay attention. They have are out of the way through intoxicating drink they err in vision they stumble 
judgment. Okay, these people are the priests and the prophets of today. If they call themselves a priest, if they call themselves a prophet, if they call themselves a rabbi, these people are not in the truth. They're not even supposed to do that. Pay attention, y'all. For all tables are full of vomit, filth. No place is clean, okay? No place clean. I don't know. I'm not gonna make it a million years. Now, this is this is literally a prophecy about Paul, okay? He's trying to feed infants, those babies that just come to Christ. He's trying to snatch the truth from them, just like Yahshua said they would. That's why he said those they had to continue in his word. He was trying to get them while they're babies, okay? And anyway, this is this is prophecy, y'all. Whom will he teach knowledge and whom will he make to understand the message? This is not God. This is not talking about God. This is talking about the Antichrist. Those just weaned from milk, those drawn from the breast. For precept upon precept, upon precept, line upon line upon line a little here a little there that little here and little there is the perversion of the word that's what the antichrist does that's what the serpent did in the garden he perverted the word of god he took a little here and a little there and he caused them to stumble and fall backwards and to be snared and broken and captured and he's doing again through paul the pharisee yasha warned you of but nobody's paying attention okay and then i i already hit on this for with this is blasphemy, but you can say whatever you want to say, mocking, stammering, whatever, lips, and whatever language or tongue, another, they added this, he already showed you that, will speak to the people this. Whom said to whom, they keep adding he, because I looked this up, I wish I had the original transcripts, I know it's missing something. Whom he said to whom, this, the rest, that you may cause the rest, the wary. Now, I know this was Yahshua that said this, but they wouldn't hear him, okay? It's going back and forth. Whom said to whom this, the rest, you may cause to rest, the wary, and this, the refreshing, and ye not, they would hear. They refused to hear the truth, so now they fell on the stumbling block they fell on paul and they're eating up his words like he's a truth and he's a very one yashua said not to believe but hold on so they would not hear okay but was to them so this is what the word of the lord is to them the antichrist but they really think it's the word of god it's not saying it is the word of god but to them it's the word of god what but was to them the word of yava precept upon precept precept upon precept line upon line line upon line a little here a little there that they may go and fall y'all and fall backward and be broken and snared and caught the devil got you because you really believe that that antichrist was the word of yava you know what people that don't have a spirit are not going to be able to understand this people that haven't been digging for the truth are not going to be able to understand this people that glorify men are not going to be able to understand that but the raiment of his people will be able to understand that therefore hear the word of yahweh this is the word y'all this is the real deal y'all hear the word of yahweh you men scornful who rule people this who in jerusalem this is the end days by the way because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with sheol this is saw this is paul okay this is not you know it's talking about death here people are gonna say this is hell no this is a person how are you gonna make a covenant with uh with hell no this is a person you believed his false covenant built on lies and falsehood it's going to tell you that because you have said we have made a covenant that's an agreement with death that's what his agreement is is death and with saul shiol paul 
we have in agreement the scourge overflowing when passes through not will it come for we have so they're saying this in their head they're thinking oh just like marcus he thinks he's gonna ride the wave that's what he keeps saying oh when this comes through i'm gonna ride the wave that's what they think he's telling you what they think but hold on pay attention this is what they think for when the scourge passes through not it will come for we have made lies paul told you he lied to you our refuge you put your belief you put your trust in paul cursed is man that put their trust in man and under falsehood we have hid ourselves they really think they're, they're really secure in this false gospel this lying gospel pay attention y'all hold on i got off track y'all okay therefore thus says adonai yava behold i lay foundation in zion a stone that stone is joshua a stone tried a cornerstone precious a foundation sure whoever believes not will act hastily so if you really believe you're not going to act hastily you're not going to be stupid and fall for the tricks of the enemy but this is few y'all the raiment is few the path is broad that leads to the destruction the path is narrow that leads to light and i will make justice the measuring line and righteousness the plummet remember you're gonna have to be righteous that grace gospel will not save nobody okay the plummet and will sweep away the hell the refuge of lies okay they're gonna learn real quickly they cannot hide behind the lies of sheol saw paul in the hiding place waters will overflow and i actually cannot wait for this to happen because i want people in the truth it makes me sick to see people serving the antichrist and will be annulled your covenant with death your agreement with sheol this is saw not will stand the scourge overflowing when passes through then you will be by it trampled down Ooh, now pay attention to what it says right here as often as it goes out it will take you from morning by morning it will pass over and by day and by night and it will be only a terror it's gonna terrorize people just to understand the report this message okay that's this message the report man when people wake up and they know they've literally been serving the antichrist just because he sowed his word among the word in the bible these people are going to be sick y'all don't wait for that that to come through y'all return to the word of god now go look if you don't trust me go compare what do yasha say to what a paul say what do yasha warn up why does paul fit every single warning people refuse to hear because they love the darkness more than the light because their deeds are evil and that's a curse for them to fall and be blinded y'all stop doing evil repent this is coming soon y'all Woo, and I need to be right myself, okay? Right here, okay, Isaiah 28. Remember, we just went through 11. 11's right here, um, which it, it twists up a little bit, but okay. So what I mean by Paul put himself in here is right here. Whom is he trying to teach? To whom is he explaining this message? To infants just weaned from the milk, to babies removed from the breast? okay that's where paul put himself in this seat right here and i'll put the verse up here just so i'm not being lazy and yeah okay god bless y'all